Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast. Well, hi, we are back. My bad for the hiatus, y'all. Episode 112. It's going to be a little 112 themed at the end, but you know how things work over here at the Hot Hustle Podcast. Well, hi, let's introduce the guest first. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. This is Real Talk with Bob and T. I'm Bob. And I'm T. All right. <laughs> Copy that. Reoccurring guest here on the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. These are some of my folks right here. Shouts out to 216 The Blend. You can find me there every Wednesday at 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. They love me so much that they had to play me a third time. While we're hitting the rundown, let's go to Monday, eBlock Radio Network. Every Monday on eBlock Radio Network at 2 p.m., GFT Radio Network, 2 p.m. on Tuesdays. I already talked about Wednesdays with 216 The Blend, Thursdays. Are wide open. Let me know if y'all got on, on the West Coast. We're still trying to make that happen. Also, Sundays, West Coast, what's happening? Um, Fridays, I say podcast radio network, 10 a.m. and Sunday, THC Media, 10 a.m. H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. There's my cleaning company, roof and plumbing, HVAC, flooring, carpeting, cleanups, cleanouts, remodeling, however you need it. We will make it happen over there, H2H Cleaning. And Custom Hustle World, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. There's my clothing line. We do custom jackets, jerseys, football, baseball, basketball, hockey. Working on soccer now. Uh, hats are coming too soon. As you've seen on the page, the barber capes are out now. You need your How to Hustle Enterprise barber capes. You do hair or you cut hair. We will ice you too. The sneaks are available now. Also, the ones and the twos, the CH2s are out now, available in all colors. I think we're going up to a 13 or 14 in those. I can't exactly remember off top, but we go down to like a three. So, you understand, we're trying to get you all in there. Uh, (laughs) But, yeah, whatever you need customized, you get with us over there at H2H. Cleaning for your cleaning services. You get us with Custom Hustle World on Instagram for all your custom needs. Uh, now, Bob and T, International Hype, not just a hashtag, it's a way of life. 216, some people don't have Google. Let them know where y'all are coming in from. 216, the blend is coming in from Ohio. Cleveland, yeah. Cleveland, the land. Try to let them know all the time, International Hype, not just a hashtag, it is a way of life. Now, I wanted to have some married individuals to discuss this topic here. So, topic of 112 is, what will make you a better spouse? We are going to start this one off with Bob, because he's staring off into space and he's not, which means he has his answer locked, loaded, and ready. Bob, talk to us. Uh, what will make you a better spouse? Uh, just, you know, listening. For one, just, just listening to your Hold spouse. On. Wait, wait, wait. We talking what makes Bob a better spouse. <laughs> not, in, not for everybody. Okay, wait a minute. Not as a whole. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, he's admitting he's not listening to his spouse. I saved my man. I threw him a life raft right there. We mean, for me, the individual, what would make me a better spouse? What would make Bob a better spouse? Uh, Yes. All right. What would make me a better spouse is is maybe maybe listening a little bit more. Uh, You know, I listen. Uh, You know, sometimes there's a difference between hearing and listening. Absolutely. You know? So, you know, maybe I need to, to listen a little bit more uh, because it's always a whole lot being said. It's always a whole lot being said. So, uh, you know, talk too damn much. T, that's what he just. <laughs> 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 you got to differentiate a little bit, you know, just, you know, all right. OK, I understand, you know, and uh, I, I definitely know. I probably should, you know, I was thinking about something like, you know, I know that we should go on dates more. We should date more often. You know, uh, we've been married 20 some years. Uh, We should date. Don't, Don't forget that. You know what I'm saying? Still date your spouse. Still go out. Still do things with your spouse. I mean, we're always around each other. We're always talking. We're always laughing. Uh, and, you know, just think about when you were dating. Uh, I, I, I have to keep on remembering that where, you know, you, you want to see the smile on their face. You want to just keep on doing things for them to, to make them smile, just to, you know, uh, make things go a whole lot better. That would. All right, T, before you answer the question, throw out to the audience, though, how long have y'all been married and together? We have been married over 20 years. And in my eyes, we've been together since mm, 94. With a little break in between. 
But you asked Bob, his together is a little different than mine. I don't know why it's different in men's eyes. But uh, copy, that, copy that, Bob. We don't even <laughs> need to go there, Bob. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> T, what would make T a better spouse? So for me, okay, with marriage, you know, you have different stages. You know, in mm-hmm. the beginning stage, it's all that honeymoon stage. And then the, ah, he get on my nerve stage. So right now, where we're at, I would say time would make me a better spouse because I feel like our lives are so busy, um, you know, with family life, kids are older. So it's like more responsibility going toward that way and not spending as much time with my husband that I think I should. Now we do have, we designated one day a week for like our date night to watch movies at home, but anything outside the house we really don't do. And I think it's a lot for me, I would say time because we both, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, we're around each other a lot, but we're not around each other a lot. You know, it's more like- What I'm hearing there is spending more time being husband and wife and not being business partners. Well, like you said, we, because like you said, we spend, a, we spend a lot of time together, but we don't spend a lot of time together. Like just because we both present doesn't mean that we're together. Yeah, it's, that's why I say spending yeah. time to, as the parents, as running the 216 to blend, like we're here together, but we ain't here together. Right. So right. that's what I'm hearing there. Was I, was I correct in that assessment? Yeah. Yeah, I, but I wouldn't say so much on um, like the business side. I, I would say like, we'll pass each other and be like, hey, how, how's your day? Okay. It's more of like a rush. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's you not just, the less. You're hitting your checkpoints, basically. Right. You know what I'm okay. saying? <laughs> that good morning text. Okay. And it could be hours. And literally, we're in the same house, but it'd be hours before I'll respond to my husband, which is bad. And it's not like I'm doing it on purpose, but because I find myself being so busy with work and doing other things that. I'm missing that time with him. I'm not giving him the time that I feel that I gave him maybe say like four or five years ago. Because it's so interesting. We both work from home, you know, that's that's what we got it. And, and, but we're, we're on two different, we're in two different, uh, we could be on different floors. We could be in different areas and, you know, we don't really see each other all Mm -hmm. like that, but we're in the same house, you know, so, and it's crazy, you know, she'll talk to people and they'll call her and they'll be like, well, where's Bob? And then she'll be like, well, you got to call him. Yeah. You know, it's not like he's close. Mm-hmm. All right. So I asked my wife this before I answered it. <laughs> and she said, accepting her help, uh, <laughs> which I'm definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm very bad on. Like, I don't know how to ask for help. I'm always the person that everybody turns to. So it's like, if I got a problem and it's like, I'll figure it out. Like, I don't need to take this to nobody else and send it nowhere else. Cause like, people don't always see the vision that you have or see what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And that's fine as long as you find a way to execute the plan. Um, uh, my answer for myself would be like the little things, like the romantic shit. I ain't the romantic boy at all. Like, I ain't got that in me. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I first started podcasting and I was doing it like with my friends and we would talk about back when you was doing this, that or whatever. And it was like, you niggas was doing a lot of shit just with <laughs> chicks or just to get some. And it was like, I was never that guy. It was like, look, this is what it is, and this is what's going to be. And if that's not cool for you, I understand totally. That's fine. We can be friends. But I'm not looking to go above and beyond just to get some. A lot of, but a lot of dudes will. So, like, in all of those ages and stages, I never was in no relationships. Like, I tell people that all the time. It's not a girl in the world who ever say she was my girlfriend. Because I never had one. Like, so I missed all of that cutesy shit. And <laughs> like, I'll buy flowers just because I walked past them in the store or something like that. Like, I'll do things like that. But like, I, uh, all of the, the, all of like the, the shit that leads up to like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not good. None of that. <laughs> like, so. Yeah. Oh, wow. See? Hey, you know, some of us have it in, it in us to do it. Some of us don't. 
You know, I, I've never really been that big person either to do all this, you know, to make, you know, to to buy the flowers or or whatever like that. You know, I always say, you know, flowers I, is easy because like you could just order them or you just see them. But like I've not never been a time in my life where I've dropped no rose petals nowhere. Like, right. Right. Oh, you know, like yeah, I look at dead money. That's dead money. Yeah, I mean, because she's not going to. She's not going to take care of flowers. You know, flowers are going to be here for a moment. She goes, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, mama. But that's it. She's going to put the flowers on to the side. All right, see, I had one time, right? Uh, I forgot what the, I forgot even what it was now because we've been married seven years, uh, talking for 2006. <laughs> so I'm like, I send some flowers to her job. So they send me like the text that say like they already they was delivered. So I'm like, all right, bet. It's like one o'clock. She should have got them joints. Three o'clock and rolled around. I ain't got a text, a smile, or nothing. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Call her now. You good today? Yeah, everything cool. Like, y'all been busy? Like, <laughs> like <God. laughs> so I'm like, she ain't say nothing about these joints. I said, Yo, you been to the front desk? You like. Nah, I ain't been downstairs. Like, I've been on whatever floor. I'm like, yo, go downstairs. Like, see if it's something down there for you. She go down there. The girl ain't know how to say uh, her last name. So she just left the flowers on the damn desk. Like, she was going to just scorch these joints. Like, uh, so, like, <laughs> I got the reaction that I was looking for, but it was a little delayed. Because after you get the, well, Amazon <laughs> sends you the we've landed. All right. You expected a few minutes. All right, a couple minutes now, she gonna hit me. It was right. two hours later. I had to hit her. But <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, I would have to say, I would have to say though, like all of the all of those little things, like I'm not that's that's the hole in my game as far as the relationship aspect goes. Like I don't even think like, why would you do that? Like that type of stuff don't even come to my head. And my cousin, he'll be <laughs> my cousin be on all that type of shit, but he had a girl when we was in our young stages. I was playing the field. <laughs> yeah, I think the romantic side is, I mean, yeah, who wouldn't like the rose petals or, you know what I'm saying, the rose petals on the bed, the, the tub, you know, you go out of town or whatever, you have a like nice little champagne bottle waiting for you. All and, right. You know, who wouldn't like that? <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. You know, and I think as women, we get so accustomed to it because you've been together so long. It's like, if he does do it, why are you doing this now? What's wrong? What did you mess up? Right. You know. See, and in this conversation that we have, and this is why we threw out the years that these relationships are, those relationships are in different stages. Our relationship has gone from teenagers to young, dumb, full of cup era. (laughs) We got a baby to we got married till we got another baby. You grow and change in those stages and those situations. Some people is like, I recognize that I haven't been doing these things. And like Bob said, you got to continue to date and continue to try to hold on to those feelings from the beginning that got you to 10, 20 years later. So you recognize that this is a shortcoming that you have and you don't just recognize it and never do anything about it. You're with this person because you want to grow, change and develop with them. Mm -hmm. So we also got to allow each other the chance to grow into them things. Like, yeah, we could point out those flaws and then we can work on those flaws, but we can't point out those flaws and continue to point, point, point and pick at them and never do nothing about them except turn them into arguments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think people got to realize too, going into a marriage, um, you, you have to expect change. You don't want things to, I wouldn't want Bob the way he was. You're one of marriage and we're here. 20 plus. I, I don't want that guy. You know what I'm saying? You got to grow and people, you got to understand that you grow within the relationship. Both of you have to grow. So. Should. Let's always throw out that caveat. Some people just wasted birthdays from 20 to 44. Like mm-hmm. never got no smarter, no better. They didn't manage their money no better. They still say and doing all the same dumb shit that they was doing 20 years ago. Yeah, true. We should evolve. 
but mm-hmm. we all don't because everybody knows that cousin, uncle, niece, nephew. Uh, you know these people who is like this nigga is he still talking about remembering <laughs> high school? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's wild. But you know what? I'm glad that you acknowledge that you don't listen sometimes. Because that's a big step. I mean, because you you're so into your phone and I could be talking. I think that's like an aggravating thing to me. Put the phone down. Just listen to what I'm saying. Like you said, you hear, but you don't hear. Do you hear, hear, but don't listen. Hearing and listening is two different things. That's why I always tell my wife, like, the weight of you being my wife means that if you want me, the world stops. If you're calling me, I'm assuming that something's going on. Because like I just told y'all, with my job, we can't be on the phone. Like, you can't be on the phone and working a hammer all at the same time. So it's like, if you're calling me, something needs to be wrong. <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to answer the phone to see what it is that you're calling me about. It can't be like, hey, uh, you left the milk on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> like, was that really that important, though? But if she's talking to me, if she ever says, I always tell her, like, if she said, like, well, you wasn't listening when I was talking about this, that, whatever. It's like, if you ever say to me, I ain't need to talk to you. I'm going to do like this. Put the phone down and what? Like what you need? Because what you're saying is more important than whatever the hell else is going on. Unless mm-hmm. mom is calling me screaming in the phone. That's never happening. <laughs> yeah. You're right. So, yeah. So, so I, I do acknowledge that. I do acknowledge that. I'm glad that. This was therapy for us. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There you go. Here we are. Fixing marriages over here in the hot house. <laughs> right? yeah. Now, Bob and T, uh, something I want to ask y'all about with uh, Bob and with Real Talk with Bob and T, which mm-hmm. we can find on 216 to blend every Monday morning, starting at midnight, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Copy that. Um, we was talking off mic pre-show and T said we kind of got into this realm of the who did it and the what ifs. Mm-hmm. What made y'all say like that this is the niche, this is the lane that we want to fill for the podcast world? So I said it was Bob. Honestly, we would always have conversations or even with him and his friends, he would always come with like these crazy what ifs. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, this stuff would be off the chain. Stuff that normal people just wouldn't think about. And that's how it, it it started, right? You know, my mind. You know, it's, it's like a flower in bloom. You know, I, I'm always thinking about something. You know, and and uh, it it just was. You know, and and T always has an opinion. So why not throw it at her, see where her mind is to something, and and go from there. And we, you know, then the pandemic hit. And which was a lot of time of uh, confinement for everybody mm-hmm. uh, off and on. And so we just started talking to each other about different things. And we just started recording it. So, excuse me, uh, as a person who's a listener, um, the infamous dude bar episode will always be in my <laughs> mind. It's T estate for Bob, you know, like you're at the dude bar and like this <laughs> <laughs> this guy walks up to you and he's like, hey, so how's it going? Bob, like, well, why are you talking to me? <laughs> like, there's never been a bar where I've been sitting there and a random is like, if we're talking about like, damn, you see through that dumbass pass? That's one thing. That's not what T was saying on this episode. Right. T was saying we had a mutual understanding of we're here both watching the game. This nigga just walks up talking about he's drinking a whiskey sour that had nothing to do with what I was talking about. <laughs> So, <laughs> right, you look at him like you're like, like I don't, I'm, I'm not taking orders. I don't work here. Like, what you right. telling me for? Um, hey, so far, most of know. these, far? <laughs> most yeah. of these scenarios that y'all be having, I always would be like, I would have just walked away. When we had the roller coaster <laughs> situation, where the folks at the haunted joint, and these people done dipped off. Niggas start dipping off. It's after midnight. We ain't supposed to be here. I'm sliding. <laughs> y'all had the one of y'all had Jock on about the security gig, and now you're gonna get twenty five dollars an hour. This is the one thing that I wanted to know on that: is this cash or is this after taxes? Because if we're talking twenty five cash every night, then we're getting an extra five hundred a week, which made the whole. I was trying to take my wife on this trip. All right, I could have probably stayed here, 
Like Bob mm-hmm. said, though, I didn't get the proper training, so I'm in the camera room only. I'm not about to be walking around getting my 6,000 steps in. <laughs> but we didn't state if this was under the table or if this was a tax situation. Because if it was tax, that means this is probably like $85, $86 a day. And we're not, no, we right. you know I'm, <laughs> I'm not walking all the way around the world for that. <laughs> like, That's right. So that was a that was a hole in that episode. And I'm like, Jock ain't asked them yet. Shouts out to Oak Jock Johnson. Jock ain't <laughs> asked them. Bob ain't say nothing. T hasn't explained this one for me. So that was the one thing I needed to know on that one. But most of these joints, I'm always saying, yeah, I'm sliding. <laughs> <laughs> you something, got it. <laughs> something goes weird. You're hearing noises. People are disappearing. All right. Uh, somebody has to tell Channel 3 the story, and it's going to be me. <laughs> right. <laughs> It won't but say we niggas went left and then I went left too. Or yeah. like we'll get emails and people will be like, no, I would have did, I would have did this, I would have stayed, or yeah, I'm I'm all team T, or or I, I get a lot of emails that you know people are just like, you know, T is a little bit too outspoken. Right. T, why'd you do that? Why'd <laughs> but, you do that? You know, different people's opinions is really and interesting. Where and where are we getting these emails? What will be the email address that folks can send you these emails to ask these follow-up questions, T? Real talk with Bob and T at gmail.com. Copy that. He was saying, hey, these are these are some of my fine folks who are on the How to Hustle seminars, okay, which picked up these small tips of you know plugging your situation and always being ready and on point. As you see, I throw T these lobs and she's dunking them off the glass with ease, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Things that you pick up from the H2H seminars, which can still be purchased. Just DM me at I am hype and we can get you all five or one at a time if that's how you'd like. Um, now, because this is episode 112, here at the end of the episode, I need two things from y'all. Episode 112, we got to talk 112. What is your favorite 112 song? I will start this one off, and I'm going to tell you, I'm a player. It's my favorite 112 joint. Bob, we're going to go to you first. Since you said Uh, T is the 112 fanatic here, we're going to go to Bob first. Uh, you know what? I like that 112 cut. Uh, the one with Big, when, uh, I, I can remember the video. I can't remember the song, but I remember the video. Uh, it might be only. Do you. I go? What do I do? I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, 112, where the players dwell. Yeah. I'm, but I'm there it is. Only yeah. you. That's it. Only you. Yeah, I do like that. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Now that we're done. Now, now that we're done, done, what are you thinking? Body so soft, just can't stop thinking. That song, I tell you, uh, it, it takes me back. <laughs> back. That okay. was that was the I remember being just riding with my girls at night, top down, and we're just singing it and just wow. Sounds like Bob needs to get some rose petals and some now that we're done playing. And yeah. you know, movie movie night will be popping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, this one before we close out episode 112. Uh, once again, let me thank y'all for coming on the episode. Once again, let me thank y'all for having me on 216 to blend. Now, this is what I need to know from both of y'all though. When you hear my name, if somebody says, Yo, you know the ball hype, what do you think? We're gonna start with T with this one. Uh, or what do you say? What is the feeling or, you know, any of that type of thing you'd like to give me? You know what? Hi. Cool guy. He's on 216 The Blend. How to Hustle. And H2H Cleaning. Copy that. Yeah. Bob? Uh, I'm thinking hype. Yeah, he's he's good people. He's, you know, uh, he international hype, you know, uh, he is wise well beyond his years. I would definitely think that and say that. You know, he's good people. Copy that. Right, like I told y'all on before we started, I like to smell those flowers while I can smell them, not see them from afar when I ain't here no more. <laughs> so yeah. once again, thank y'all for coming on episode 112. I appreciate everybody for hitting the button. I'm sorry for the hiatus, y'all. We're back and we are out.